Hey, thanks for joining me today on Just Cook with Michael. Today, we're gonna to make a beer batter deep fried asparagus appetizer. This beer batter recipe I use could be used for fish and chips, chicken tenders. Also a great choice if you wanna deep fry mushrooms or do some beer battered onion rings. It works for a lot of different applications. The ingredients for today's recipe are some cornstarch, some egg whites, salt, baking powder and baking soda, white pepper, and some black pepper. It's gonna be deep fried in corn oil. Any seed oil is good, that they all have a high smoke point. Kind of a lighter beer, you know, since it's a vegetable, you don't want anything too overpowering like a stout or a pale ale, but you virtually could use any beer you like. And if you don't want beer, just substitute the beer for water or Coors Light. So we'll get started, it's pretty simple. Just mixing all the ingredients together in a bowl with a whisk. Then I'm gonna pour the batter. You want some kind of tall cylinder container, preferably like this, because that way when you dip, your batter will be there and you could dip the asparagus in. And what you do is you probably dip like 75% of the asparagus in the batter and then put that in the hot oil. And that way it just looks really good. You have most of it is beer batter, but you have the nice garnish of a natural asparagus tip. The first thing you want to do before even making your batter is heat up your oil. You want your oil to be somewhere between 350 and 375. I'm going to shoot for a little bit of the higher range, around 365, because it's a vegetable. Unlike, you know, if you're cooking raw chicken, you might need to cook it a little bit longer. This should cook in about two minutes. So by having a higher temperature, it should get a nice golden color on it, even though we're only cooking it for two minutes. I'm going to check the oil temperature with this digital thermometer. You just can't do it unless you have a thermometer. Certain things you need, you know, everyone's always worried about oh, should I have all clad pots? You spend hundreds of dollars on this equipment. This is probably one of the cheapest and most important pieces of equipment is proper measuring tools, you know, just like you need proper measuring tools in baking, like a scale, say scale, cups, teaspoons, digital thermometer. That's what you should worry about before worrying about what kind of pan you're gonna cook your food in. Right, the first step is just putting in all your dry ingredients and mixing those together. So I got my flour, cornstarch. When you do the ratio of corn, starch to flour. The more flour you use, the darker your batter will get because wheat flour has protein in it. And so protein, all protein, whether it's meat or the protein in wheat flour, will turn brown when it gets to, a, to 280 degrees Fahrenheit. That's called the Maillard reaction. Salt in there. Baking powder. Baking soda. White pepper black pepper. You know, there's some leeway here also, you know, the proportions of flour, liquid, egg, the beer, you want to be right. But as far as seasoning, you know, you could try some paprika, different kinds of pepper. You could try celery salt instead of regular salt. That part of the recipe you could definitely play with. So you really want to make sure your dry ingredients are mixed up well. Now we need to put in our two thirds cup of beer. I think you all know what to do with the little bit left over that just enjoy drinking it. And now we'll mix in our beer. Mix in our egg whites. You basically want to mix it just until it's incorporated. Kind of like making pancake batter. Pour the batter in the tall cylinder. Asparagus, check the temperature, 370, 380. It's a little, a little hot, but I think that's going to be fine because as soon as we drop in our asparagus, the temperature should start to go down a little bit. So, but I will turn it down just a bit. And remember, because this is a vegetable, it's going to cook really quick. So you just want to make sure your asparagus is well coated. I have a plate with some paper towels ready to go. So you want them to be a nice golden color. I'll take two minutes at the most. And these are pretty thick asparagus. If you had like pencil thin asparagus, it would probably only be like a minute. Keep on monitoring your oil. You want to keep it between 350 and 375. It's been about a minute and a half. Okay, two minutes already. Now you can make a beer battered deep fried asparagus appetizer. These are great by themselves, or if you want to serve them with a hollandaise sauce, I have a video on making hollandaise. That would be good if this also enjoy it with uh, your favorite beer. This is only about a quarter of what it made. It makes between 20 and 25 
deep fried pieces of asparagus and it comes out delicious. This beer batter, you could use it for any beer batter recipe, whether you're doing fish tacos or fishing chips, or you want to deep fry some zucchini. Thanks for joining me today. Now go cook for someone you love.